Hello everyone, I am so so sorry that this channel has been neglected. I have kind of been in a journaling slump, I haven't been journaling as often and also I've just been really busy on Twitch and stuff so I'm trying to find the perfect routine to you know consistently upload on this channel too but hopefully 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 in June you will be seeing more videos. I still need to film my life journal flip through part two and anyway <laughs> so I'm very very sorry but like I said I'm kind of in a journaling slump so I didn't really know what I wanted to do for this month. Like usually I have so many ideas and so many different things I want to do, but I didn't really know what my vibe was going to be. And I wanted to do like a pride theme, but I decided to just take that pressure off and do a simple theme for June because that was the mood that I was in. I just feel like I haven't done my classic black simple vibe in ages. <laughs> so I decided to do that for this month. So I stuck in that black piece of paper. I'm using some stunning BTS stickers that I got off Redbubble and it basically ended up being like a simple BTS vibe. And I actually really like how it turned out. So yeah, I use that BTS washi tape put in lots of different like scrap pieces of paper with washi as well. The black grid washi is from shop Amanda H. Lee and then I'm also using some stickers that I got from Papergate Co and some BT21 RJ stickers. So now I want to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. I'm sure you all know Skillshare by now but if you don't it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators so you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. They have thousands of classes on so many different topics including journaling, lifestyle, productivity, creative writing, illustration, and so much more. One of my favorite classes on Skillshare that I took was Calligraphy Essentials from First Script to Final Flourish by Seb Lester. I learned a lot about basic calligraphy in this class and I definitely saw my calligraphy improve after taking this class. Skillshare is also curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. This means you can always stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you and it's always satisfying learning a new skill and doing something that you couldn't do yesterday. And Skillshare have high quality short classes that will help you gain new skills, which is amazing. So the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in my description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. And after that, it's only $10 a month with an annual subscription. So I highly recommend taking advantage of that link in my description and getting creative on Skillshare. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now back to the spreads. So yeah, like I said, I really haven't been journaling. I don't know why. I feel like this is the first time I've had like a journaling slump. I'm usually always in the mood to journal, but I just haven't really been in the mood lately. And I have so many different themes ideas that I have written down for my monthly plan with me's and this theme wasn't written down but I just went with the flow and sometimes you just need to let your creativity guide you you know what I mean so I feel like this is the first time in ages where I didn't really have like a set plan and I just went with the flow but like I said I'm happy with how it turned out so sometimes you just need to do that <laughs> But anyway, so this is my day's red spread, which is where I track every day that I read. So as always on the left, I have my physical reading tracker and on the right, I have my audiobook reading tracker. I decided to just freehand the boxes and sometimes I put too much pressure on myself and then that definitely helps with creating the slump. <laughs> so I don't recommend putting so much pressure on yourself, like don't aim for perfection. I always think aiming for perfection is not the way to go because it just creates stress and this is supposed to be a fun thing, you know? Anyway, because this is a BTS theme, I might as well quickly talk about Butter, which is the single that they just dropped today as I'm filming this voiceover. And I liked it, but I'm definitely not obsessed. Like I'm not obsessed with the vibe. Also, I just don't want them to continue making, like obviously they can do it they want but I hope they're not feeling the pressure to keep making English songs like I hope that they're doing it because they want to not because they feel like they need to you know what I mean so yeah it's not my complete vibe and I do love John Cook if you didn't know but I don't vibe with his hair in that <laughs> music video obviously once again he can do what he wants but I just don't vibe with it personally but Yoongi looks absolutely stunning or well, they all look stunning but yeah Yoongi really killed it in that video and I just freaking love him love all of them and yeah like I said I just hope that they're not feeling the pressure to make English songs because no thank you <laughs> But yeah, my book thread spread was super simple. Just used the washi tape, the stunning BTS sticker that I got from Redbubble once again and did some layering and stuff.
and then my final spread is favorite quote of the month, favorite book of the month, and monthly stats. Once again, using the washi tape, lots of layering, writing simple titles down, and yeah. So those are my final spreads. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all having a good day or night. Don't forget to use the top link in my description to get a free trial of this Skillshare Premium membership. If you're looking for more content from me, my social links are all in my description as well as my other channels. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.